Okay, so I just finished a big five workout, and you can see it's about five, three, three to five minutes after the end, I'm still pretty breathless. So I'm in the aerobic phase of my workout, and that, that lactic acid build up. Uh, some comments about what you just saw. Um, I tried to use as good a form as possible using a super slow rep cadence. Things that you may have noticed, and these are things that instinctively tend to try to occur when you're exerting yourself hard, is grimacing, squinting your eyes, uh, groaning or screaming. Another thing you'll notice a lot is when a weight gets heavy, it activates what I believe is a spinal cord reflex that comes into play when something is too heavy to push off of you. As you start to fatigue, this instinctual panic takes over. If you look down my leg, what you'll see, for instance on the chest press, is you'll see the legs start to shift a little bit. People that do it bad do it like they're pedaling a bicycle. And what that is instinctually trying to do, if you have something that's too heavy to push off of you, the spinal cord reflex is to rock that back and forth. Okay? When something gets hard but doable, you'll see people lunge into the weight, attacking it. When it gets to the point where their fatigue is weakening them to where the window between your strength and the chosen weight starts to close, instead of lunging into it, you'll see them turning away from it with their face. If you pay close attention, you can see those tendencies in me. Um, and, but I tried to squelch them as much as I could. Restless legs, you know, coming up on your tippy toes, on the compound row when I'm wanting to keep my feet flat. Same thing on the chest press and overhead press. Um, those are all little discrepancies that will always come into play that we try to control. What you see also is it's pretty darn hard. And in the midst of the workout, not really fun, but I can find you this. Every workout I've ever done, in this place and elsewhere, I've thoroughly enjoyed. And part of it is knowing what bringing about this stimulus is going to produce. This is an investment that reaps enormous rewards. For 10 minutes of work over the next week, I'm gonna have enormous rewards in terms of strength and energy. And the reward is proportionate to the intensity that you put into the workout. Not the amount of time you spend on it, not how long you stay in the gym, but the intensity and focus you bring to each individual machine is what is the investment that pays dividends. And here's the neat thing about these dividends. When they come, you don't gotta give half of them to the government. No one can take the dividends that you earn doing this sort of workout and spread it around or redistribute it to someone that didn't put out the effort. It's all yours to keep. And that's why I love high intensity exercise, this facility, and why we wrote Body by Science. I hope you learned a lot and there'll be more in the future. Thanks.